Welcome everyone. Boom, I was gonna say, and I'm gonna say it. Welcome back, Monday Talk Time. Have a look at this. The short answer is, I don't know. That, my friend, is on you, Rob. You need to find your own drink. Actually, you know what I like to do? So my drink of choice is naturally mate. What I'd love you guys to do, those who are um, putting in comments, put in brackets, please, two seconds. Put in brackets what drink you're enjoying while watching mate talk. Um, I would love for you to say it's mate because it would be cool to, you know, can you imagine like, uh, like this whole world drinking mate, the whole world. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway. um, actually, on, on the, the whole world drinking mate, well, it wasn't the whole world. There's something communal and something heartwarming in drinking mate with others. So I went over to my uh, sister's house the, the other day, we caught up. Um, I brought some pastries because mate always goes, I always say this, mate goes with some kind of treatings. Um, anyway, I bought some pastries and uh, we, shared a, we shared a mate together and mate is about you share the same straw, the bombija, and you just, I don't know, there's, there's this exchange that happens uh, and it's all about conversation. And anyway, the first sip I took as we were chatting and we were engrossed in conversation, took a sip of the mate and it, it warmed my heart, I promise you. It just, it, one, the taste of it was just beautiful and two, I don't know, this connection, this, it was beautiful, anyway. So what's your drink? I'd love it to. Know, I'd love to know. And um, as we enjoy this mate talk together, I'm going to keep this short and sharp, baby. Let's see. I'm, I can see two minutes already. I've clocked. I've clocked up. I'm going to try to keep this to 15. So good luck to me. Drink mate first. Excuse me. A, a big mate talk. I've got a number of perfumes that I want to talk about. So I'm going to keep moving. One thing that I want to loop back on, and that is last week we did a raffle for the members. Esmo Lincha, I haven't heard from you. Possibly on a sabbatical. Uh, so just know, gonna honor it. If you see that video, and I'm still reaching out to you, Esmo Lincha, please reach out to me. I, you, you've won uh, the, you know, I, let me send you something. But I haven't heard, so this is for January. I am going to, and I'm gonna, excuse me while I, Unlock my phone. I'm gonna turn on this. Boom. All right, so have a look at this. I'm gonna spin again. This is for January. All members who, or all current members, good luck. Hoping you win. Those who do win, send me the fragrances that you love, and I will send you some samples. So give me an idea. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Guilherme again. <laughs> but it's not, Yvette, we have a girl, you know? So that's good, well, not a girl, we have a woman. I'm going to say you're a woman, Yvette. Um, please, send me, uh, tell me what you would like. Actually, you know what? Because I've been waiting, because uh, I've been waiting for a, a, a woman to win, or a, a, a lady. Now I don't know, excuse me, while I reach out. This is, I'm going, I'm going rogue. This is my improv. So this was not planned. If you would like, I would love to send you this. This is not my love to you, but this is the Love Collection from Amouage. This is, it's worth about 120, 130 Aussie. There are four amazing fragrances in here, which are just incredible. So if you haven't experienced Amouage, can I send you this? Would you be interested in receiving this? If you are, you have the Amouage collection and you've got all these, no problems at all. Just tell me what fragrances you do like. I'll make sure to send you two samples across. If you haven't got this set, there are four samples here and really each one of them is better than the last. So I'd love to send you that if uh, you're interested. But Yvette, it's on you, no pressure, please. You just go ahead and DM me on Insta and uh, let's uh, have a communicate, or let's have a uh, connection there and we can talk about it. We're gonna keep moving, <gasps> five minutes on the clock. Keep moving, keep moving, all right. Let me just stop the recording on this, boom. Now, last week I mentioned that I will be in Italy. Today's episode is all about the connections that I, the, um, the people we're gonna connect with whilst we're in Italy. I wanna share some fragrances from their collection. Before I go into that, the plan is to meet in the Fuego store on 
Tuesday the 28th in Milan. So if you happen to be in Milan, dude, I was gonna say, uh, uh, peoples, Ryanair, it's like $49 for a flight to, well, it's one way, but anyway, if, if you can make it across, I wanna see you guys. So if you're in Europe, um, then come and meet us at the foyer store. So far, mon prof, mon prof, mon prof de, de français. <laughs> I said that terrible, sorry, Luke. My French professor, Luke, will be there. Oh, he's already flagged it saying that, yeah, he'll be at that thing. So that's Luke and I so far. So if there's any more that are wanting to come across and join us at the foyer store, uh, if you're not familiar with this Argentinian brand, you need to come and experience it. It is just next level. That will be on Tuesday. Then on Saturday, the 1st of April, I would like to host four or five of you guys in Exxon. So I will be there for Exxon. First two days are, um, I guess, more official business-like. On Saturday and Sunday, it gets opened up or it's opened up to general public. I would like to host, as I mentioned, four to five people and walk you through Exxon. There's gonna be about two to 300 exhibitors there, all niche perfumery. Uh, I would, as I mentioned, have, ha have had a chance to uh, already met a lot of these people, so I'd love to show you guys some of the new fragrances that are coming out, introduce you to uh, perfumers and, and things of that nature. It is a ticketed event, so it means that uh, for the ticketed price, I haven't resolved what that price is yet. I've got one person who has expressed interest. I promise, I promise this week, I will have that price uh, organized. Uh, but the ticketed price will include a full bottle of perfume of your choice from either Meo Fushuni, Boyce 1920, or Paris Monte Carlo. You will, um, anyway, yeah, I was gonna say, you, you need to let me know in advance so I can prepare that and get that ready for you guys. But yeah, well, that, that's, that's all the mechanics afterwards. Uh, anyway, full bottle of fragrance. It'll include lunch. So after Exxon's, we'll go out, we'll go to an area called Breda. There is some really cool places to eat. We'll have lunch together and then we'll have a gelato together. All right, so it's a, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll spend some time together. But the bottom line is, I'd, I'd love to walk you guys through. Let me host you, let me show you some stuff. I think it'll be cool, I love perfume, <laughs> and it would be cool to be alongside other perfume lovers and enjoy what will be excellence. Boom, all right, let me move on. Now, the trip in Italy uh, is coming up. We're actually uh, flying out like early March, spending quite a bit of time throughout Italy. We've re-engaged with a number of brands and I want to talk about who the brands are, and I want to talk about the fra some fragrances that I would recommend in their collection. But first, I need a drink. Excuse me, I've got eight minutes on the clock. Oof, I better wrap this baby up. I once did, um, <laughs> I once did scuba diving, and they would say this, they would do this, which is like, slow down, just relax. So. I'm gonna put chapter markers. If you wanna just speed on out and just look at the one that you want, please, otherwise, if you wanna leave, then I'm gonna slow down because otherwise I feel like I'm being chased by zombies. Excuse me. The first brand that we're gonna engage with when we get to uh, Italy is none other than the wonderful, I was gonna say the beautiful, and I think from a, as a, as a, his soul, his, the person that he is, I mean, I had a chance to connect with Mel and Federica uh, instantly. They put me at, at, at ease. I, mean, I don't know if you saw the video that I created about uh, my fragrance adventure. And I was just so nervous to meet Mel. I was nervous because uh, Mel's a big deal. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's, well, he's got a beautiful brand, incredible perfumer, and I just didn't know what, what was gonna happen. You know, was he gonna be intense or whatever it may be? I honestly, I, I couldn't believe how wonderful Mel as a person is and uh, his humanness and, and his, uh, his gentleness and, and then his creativity when it comes to, to, to perfumes. I, I want to talk about this one here, which is um, in his early collection, Nota di Viaggio. This is Chiavuto di Amori, and I love saying Chiavuto di Amori. It just sounds so poetic in the, in the name itself, which means perfume of love. If you haven't seen the review that I did, have a look here. Talk about how glorious this particular fragrance is. It's part of the, the trilogy that Mel created when he became Mel Fushuni. He's, 
I guess his birth name was Giuseppe, um, but in becoming male or in becoming a perfumer, he I guess, took the stage name, I guess, of Mel Fushuni. It's still connected to his family, so that name is, if I'm not mistaken, Mel was the name of his grandfather. So it's you know it, still it's still rooted in his, I guess, in him. This fragrance here is his memory of Sicily. And to, I guess to define it quickly, which doesn't do it any justice, but just so you, if you're not familiar with this fragrance, what it's, a, what it's about. It's a fruity floral with an accent towards fig. Now, I, I'm a big, I love fig fragrances, but I don't have anything that is like this particular fragrance when it comes to fig. It's, and if you, again, if you look at the review that I did, I mentioned that this is not a fig fragrance. So uh, people try to define it quickly. It's not a fig fragrance, but it does have a fig accent to it. So if you like that fig note, then I would recommend to you Chaburu di Amori. It's in memory to, I'm smelling it now. It's such an incredible, beautiful scent. You need to experience this. Um, I'm not a believer in blind buying, so don't go out, don't blind buy it. Just, you need to experience it. Find this fragrance, put it on your skin. Uh, it is, it will transcend you. There, there is, there is something in still, I don't know, I look at it, I, I get it, it's just a perfume, but you need to experience it. So, Chaburu di Amori, I really enjoy this fragrance a lot. And as I mentioned, we are doing some further work with Mel, and uh, we've got some things planned. I'm very excited. It's gonna be, it's, it's almost like, um, it's like part two to what we started. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting. Drink. Boom, boom, boom. Excuse me. All right. The next brand that we are re-engaging with, which I'm so happy with, it, it um, and without making, so this is not, nothing on me. Okay, well, I mean, maybe it is. Anyway, look, I, I, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to have a big head about this, but it was so nice that as I reached out to these brands and say, look, I'm going to go back to Italy, I'm going to be at Exxon, blah, blah, blah. Could we do something? Uh, Mayo instantly said yes, absolutely. Uh, the other brand that instantly said yes, it was Paris Monte Carlo. And actually the third brand also instantly said yes. Uh, but but uh, Carlos, Carlos I never met prior to last year, uh, in meeting him last year, we developed a, a great friendship and uh, he won, it's, I mean, I love the Paris Monte Carlo, you've seen my reviews on Paris Monte Carlo. Um, I love their fragrances, I love the Italian collection. I just, I'm a big fan of all things citrus and I really, really enjoy their Italian collection. I'm so excited that we're gonna actually connect with the, the perfumer, Luca Maffei, on this particular one here. This is Cedro di Diamante. And it is the most vibrant, most spectacular, um, uh, energetic, invigorating, lemon style fragrance or Cedro fragrance that you've ever smelt in your life. It, it, that the opening of this fragrance, I'm gonna tell you, it, it, you know in the old days they would have smelling salts. Well, you know, if you, this could, I was gonna say this could wake the dead, but it's, it's, not, it's not a beast mode. It's just so vibrant, it's so invigorating. It's, it's one of those fragrances that is classic for summer. Actually, it would be awesome, winter. I haven't, I haven't used it in winter, it's, it is my summer fragrance. I do love when it dries down, so it, it starts off just, just this, this invigorating explosion of cedro, this beautiful uh, limoncello sort of vibe to it. As it dries down, it does get a little bit on the spicy side, which is beautiful. And then it goes into this lemony musk. It just sits on skin, beautiful. It makes you, or makes me, um, it's, it's like a clean skin fragrance. You just feel, if it's vibrant, it's energetic, it's invigorating. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna, we're gonna meet with uh, Luca Maffei. We have some things planned. I'm not gonna go into it, but it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It, uh, so we're going to spend time. So Carlos, I believe Alessandra will also join us. So if you, uh, the, for those who might have seen the earlier video, I was able to meet with both Carlos and Alessandra in their boutique, which is in the uh, Lago di Garda, one of their uh, key stores. And uh, so I think all of us are doing something together again, which is going to be awesome. I will also be filming in Exxon. So uh, they have a beautiful display and stand. We're going to be talking about the Paris Monte Carlos, but they also have uh, an, uh, other brands. I won't go into it. 
other than I'm excited we're re-engaging with Carlos Alessandra and the Paris Monte Carlo brand alongside Luca. I'm a big, I want to, I'm excited at the thought of connecting with perfumers. I'm intrigued by the art of perfume creation and yeah, I, I'm excited to actually connect with individuals who create fragrances. The next one, what's my time? 16 minutes, I'm already, <laughs> my 18, my 15 minutes uh, time limit is, is, I've cooked it, sorry guys. Next one, also reached out to this amazing brand. I wanna tell people, please, Boyce 1920, um, they have the most, the most amazing fragrances. I just don't hear enough being spoken about them. This is one of my, you know what I love about these guys too? Let me just see how this, these are all, so the one thing that I love about the brand is all this stuff is actually handmade. These are, this is hand, the, so the, the bottle itself is actually, uh, it, it's, it's, it's sandblasted. So it, the whole thing is hand touched in Italy. So none of these components, I mean, you could easily make this offshore for instance, but all these components, they're all made in Italy. It's a, it's a fragrance, it's a house that's based in Florence. They make exceptional fragrances. They have a, such an extensive collection. If you're new to niche, this is a great place to start. You, the, there is something for everybody essentially here. This one here I've been wearing today, Classic Paradise. It's one that honestly, it just does not get enough airplay. Classic Paradise, if you like Erba Pura by Zerjov, then I would strongly, strongly go out, test out this, one, this fragrance here. What I love about it is that it has this divinely beautiful citrus fruity component on the opening. It retains the fruitiness of it. it. Does go down into woods and slight musk. There is a vanilla tone in here, but it's not overtly vanilla. So sometimes I find that uh, fruity fragrances can, they sort of stay on a very high vanilla note. Whereas here, there's a beautiful balance. There is cassis or black currant and also peach. But it's like a white, oh, it's just, it, it, I was gonna say, it's like a white peach. It's, there's a, there is a, a distinct, anyway, the, the black currant and the peach playing together, vibrant on the opening, just beautifully, um, like I said, fruity, happy, it's joyous, it's a joyous fragrance. This is summer. For me, this is a glorious summer. I haven't tried it in winter, but it would work in winter. I haven't tried in winter, so I don't know, actually. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to imagine what would it be like in winter. I think it would be great in winter. It does have woods in the base. It's a summer fragrance. So I first discovered this in Florence in the Boyce 1920 store when we were going out with Simone. Uh, I actually I grabbed this one here, and from, I think what it is, I, it, I'm so connected. To, when I smell this, it takes me to the streets of Florence. It takes me to that time, you know, uh, you know being with Kevin, uh, being in that space and anyway, it was classic paradise. I'm, I'm not thinking, just slow down. <laughs> classic paradise, please go out, check it out. Uh, for, for men, so I find that some men find Ereba Pura a little bit too much or it leans a bit heavy towards feminine, but they like some of the components there. I would recommend to you classic paradise. It doesn't lean so heavily feminine. There is a, I mean, maybe on the dry down, it does get a little bit softer but it doesn't go into the same realm as Erba Pura does. It still, I guess it's the woods in there. It still has a bit of a, a woody edge to it, but anyway, glorious. We're re-engaging with these guys. I'm excited. We're gonna be doing some more work with Simone and Lorenzo. And Lorenzo is actually part of the family. So uh, it's this beautiful heritage that exists with this particular brand. One that we are so those are, those are set. There's some other brands that we're talking on. Uh, once they sort of land, I'll share more on that. One that I am throwing a, you know, just a, we'll see what happens. You know, just throwing it out there. I have reached out. I haven't had a response. <laughs> Let me take a drink. I, I'm not gonna show you. Well, actually, you've already seen it in the thumbnail. Zerjov. So, I've, I would like, I'm putting it out to the universe basically is what I'm, what I'm about to say. Wouldn't it be cool if I had a chance to meet with Sergio Momo 
and um, have a chance to interview him and talk about his brand and talk about his amazing perfume collection. And uh, it would be equal parts scary and uh, intimidating and my knees would be knocking, but at the same time exciting and a bucket list thing. I don't know, it'd just be awesome. So I'm putting it out there. Uh, I have sent out or I've done a reach out to these guys. Uh, they are beautiful people, but they're super busy. So this, this is what I do know that uh, Exxon's, they are in, um, doing a lot of meetings with people. Uh, so I guess what I'm, I'm already saying, he's most likely gonna say no, but hey, we'll ask, we'll, we'll put it out to the universe and see what happens. As a Zerjoff recommendation, I had uh, a subscriber who asked me between Renaissance, Uden, and there was another Neo, I think was, what should th that individual choose because they were going to a wedding? And I actually responded and said that the curveball, if you're going to a wedding, is Uden overdose. This is, for those who have not experienced it, this is another one that I would strongly recommend to you. I am in love with this fragrance. I can not get enough of it as a going out as a occasion fragrance. So going out on a date, going to a wedding, um, anything. Yeah, just you didn't overdose. I promise you, I promise you, it will be a statement maker on your behalf. There is no vanilla in this, believe it or not, but it has vanillic tones. Now this is another one where I think in my video that I did for Mayo Fushuni, I said that this particular fragrance is not about the notes. When you look at the notes, you think, oh yeah, it has frankincense in the base. And you think, well, I don't like frankincense because it's incense like blah, blah, blah. It's not about the, it's not about the, the, um, the notes. It's about the composition and you didn't overdose in my opinion is the same thing. If you look at the notes, you think, oh, interesting. I didn't know that, you know, it has, you know, amber in the base and things like that. And so you think, oh, that must, must be a warm style fragrance. This is about the composition. It is citrus in that opening. There are some white floral components to it. And I, and I know that there is um, tobacco flower in there. I've never smelled, I've never sort of isolated tobacco flower to, so to know what that is. But there is this, it's just magic. It's it, the, the only thing I can say to you is that it is a statement maker, has awesome projection, has great longevity, it has amazing sillage. When I'm wearing it, people know that this is happening. My wife, you know the funniest thing with this is that she, and it's actually before I started filming, she saw this one. She goes, oh, do I like this one? She asked me, and I, I just smiled at her. I don't, I, and then she smelt it. She's like, oh, I don't like that one. Whenever I'm wearing this, she is always asking me, what are you wearing? It smells amazing. So for some reason, for, I mean, to my nose, it's glorious up close. I'm just like, smell it. I can smell all the facets and components of what this fragrance is. But the sillage of this, the projection of the sillage of this, it has its own interpretation. It is really, it is really divine. It is, uh, this is a fragrance that my son has for, because he's been smelling it on me. And he's like, what are you wearing, man? I, whenever I smell you, you smell just, just amazing. So he's been wearing this also. This is, this is just, you need to try this out. I'd strongly recommend it to you. You didn't know with us. That's it, everybody. What did I do? 24 minutes, but I bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Sorry, I, I went, <laughs> I sound like crazy frog then. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the only last thing that I want to say is, again, I'm going to loop back onto our Fuea boutique visit. Join us. It's going to be awesome. Um, if you're in that area, jump on a Ryanair plane. I mean, this is the difference. In Australia, you know, four hours, four hours just to get to Perth. All right, so whereas I know that in Europe, you know, like, I don't know, it's one hour if you're in Italy, one hour you're in Paris already, you know, actually talking about Paris. Um, the, there's something exciting. Look at this handsome man. Who is this man? None other than my good friend, Kevin. We are cooking up something. Everybody let, um, so we're about to do some uh, filming together uh, in Oligarch again. But let me give you a, a heads up Mark the date. We've got something very exciting happening in October and we would like you guys to join us. This is gonna be 
this is something big. This is something very exciting. We'll reveal more. So in the coming weeks, we're going to be talking about what's going to happen. Other than, and I don't want to sort of disclose too much. Actually, before I started, I rang Kevin. I said, do you mind if I include this in the Mate talk? And he said, yeah, yeah, no, no worries at all. So it will be something in Paris. So we are planning something in Paris. And we are also planning on the same trip, something in Grasse in the south of France. And this is the, you know, uh, one of the birthplaces of, uh, of perfumery throughout Europe. So we're going to be going to Grasse too. Uh, this is going to be something exciting that we want to invite people to join us on. So more details I'll come, I'll, I'll explain in, um, in time. Well, we'll explain because we're filming together with Kevin. The last thing I was going to say is uh, come to the, in, in, on Tuesday the 28th, join us at the Foyer store. Uh, this is one fragrance that, and I've recommended this before, this is Tagore, key ingredients in Tagore. Uh, so it's a spicy, earthy, woody style of fragrance, very aromatic. My wife recently, and I, and I love when she does this, she falls in love with the fragrance, so she goes in through cycles, and she has just fallen in love with this. And uh, look, I'm, this is a fragrance that I've just loved since last year. I bought this last year when I was in, in the foyer store. Um, really, really impressive. So as an aromatic, I, I said it was masculine, but my wife is wearing this. Like I'm, we, we, we leave the office and as we're walking out, I'm smelling Tagore. I'm like, did you? So, yeah, so she is enjoying this fragrance too. So easy unisex, spicy, aromatic. There's an earthy component to it. Again, invigorating, just a glorious. And I'm, this fragrance here, awesome in summer, fantastic in winter, all year round. So when you come to Milan on Tuesday the 28th, you can experience this fragrance alongside us. Or well, us meaning myself and Luke. We'll be talking in French, of course. No, I don't speak French. <laughs> I speak Spanish. <laughs> All right, gang, hope you enjoyed that. That was way longer than what I hope it was going to be. But uh, we'll see you guys all on the next Monday Talk. Okay?